The start relay works in conjunction with the run capacitor and start winding to cycle the compressor on and off. The compressor compresses refrigerant and circulates it through the system to keep the freezer cold. If the relay is faulty, the compressor may only run intermittently or not at all. To help determine if the relay is defective, you may be able to use a multimeter to test the component for continuity a continuous electrical path present in the part. If the relay tests negative for continuity between the start and run terminals, or the component smells burnt, you should replace it with a new one. The run capacitor could be defective as well and unable to hold a sufficient charge to cycle the compressor on. You can use an analog ohm meter to test the capacitor's ability to store and release an electrical charge. And a capacitor tester to determine if the component has suitable capacitance by measuring the level of microfarads. If the capacitor tests poorly on either test, the component should be replaced. The compressor itself could be malfunctioning as well, although this is less common. You should first confirm the start relay and run capacitor are functioning properly before considering a compressor replacement. If the other components appear to be working normally, you can use a multimeter to test the compressor for electrical continuity between the pin terminals on the side of the unit. If the compressor tests negative for continuity or appears to have shorted to ground, you should have a qualified technician replace the old component with a new one. 